Quantum computers are about to cure our worst diseases, solve our energy crises, and help us understand our universe at the atomic level. But there's a catch. These mind-bending computing systems will also break the internet's toughest encrypted codes, pick the locks of your banking info, social passwords, and even expose your <coughs> incognito browsing histories. This is not science fiction. And with great computing power comes extraordinary responsibility. Can humanity create a digital shield against the most powerful technology the world has ever seen? Are we headed for a quantum flex or more like a quantum disaster? Right now, some nation states and individual actors are intercepting and storing lots of encrypted data, like passwords, bank details, and social security numbers. But they can't open these files, so why are they doing it? Well, because they believe that within the next 10 to 20 years, they will have access to a quantum computer that can break the encryption in minutes. This procedure is known as Store Now, Decrypt Later, or SNDL. And it works because there is information around today that will still be valuable in a decade. These people believe they'll be able to access all that data because by leveraging quantum mechanics, Quantum computers can be a hundred million times faster than classical computers in solving specific problems, like factoring large numbers, the basis of RSA encryption, which is widely used in online security. In 2019, Google announced that its quantum computer performed a calculation in three minutes that would take a binary supercomputer 10,000 years. That computational ability could cripple complex global systems in seconds and expose our lives to anyone with access to it. We all know our personal data is valuable, but do we have a solid handle on what it means if it gets into the wrong hands? You really do not want your online data stolen. Confidential data is just that, confidential. When some unauthorized creep steals it, they mean to do you harm. Your name and address, passwords, medical data, credit card information, reputation, and assets are all on the line. More than just headaches, financial loss means your money is gone. Plus, any time spent going after the criminals legally, while seemingly important, will take a lot of time and money, and you may never recover your losses. Other potentially catastrophic results of stolen data could include identity theft resulting in new accounts being opened under your name, for which you are on the hook to pay back. Credit damage can mean difficulty in securing loans in the future, or even securing employment with poor credit ratings. It's not good, however you look at it. Okay, what can we do? Because we have to do something. Do we really need to resort to our neon 90s physical wallet and go off grid? How much are generators going for these days? And didn't I see something about wearable solar panels? Should I stock up on batteries, seeds, two-way radios and hand tools in my isolated yurt? The only hope, once you get a handle on your initial freakout, is that if we can build a computer with all these enhanced powers, we can also build proactive systems to protect us from these threats. Humanity's brightest are working night and day, racing to construct new cryptographic algorithms that'll be able to withstand classical and quantum attacks. One of those brightest is Ty Danae at Sandbox AQ. It's well known that large-scale quantum computers pose a major threat to the security of today's data. The encryption protocols used to protect your bank transactions, your Wi-Fi connection, and most any other application that relies on secure data transfer depend on the difficulty of certain math problems. And those turn out to be very easy for quantum computers to solve. Efforts are already underway to guard against this quantum threat. Broadly speaking, these technologies fall under post-quantum cryptography, or PQC, and quantum key distribution, or QKD. PQC refers to a collection of new encryption algorithms that will be resistant to attacks from powerful quantum computers, as well as current or classical computers. These new algorithms can run on classical computers, and so today, companies and governments are making the transition to this new kind of quantum-resistant software. QKD, on the other hand, is a brand new way to securely send information. It uses quantum hardware and leverages quantum effects like entanglement to detect if and when any information is intercepted by an adversary or attacker. Okay, great. That makes us feel better. 
or does it? Moving into the future isn't always a walk in the park, especially considering the rapid pace of science and technology. So we can sit back with fear or move forward with our fellow humans, confident in our ability to weather storms and quantum attacks. How do you protect your digital life? Is your information secure or do you still use password as your password? Thanks for watching. Let us know a great human you'd like us to feature next. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more thoughts that matter.